Hi there and welcome back to another one of those 32 bit round videos but today I have something special a QA. and a I probably should put some, I'll put something in there anyway so just to start so I put out a wee thing just you know obviously saying I would like some questions if you have any about myself my life as working with computers etc etc and I've got, I've got five here, it's a start nonetheless. So, first one is, what's your favourite computer? Well, I think my favourite definitely has to be my 2001-ish iMac G3, which is in a video and you should probably see the card pop up somewhere on the screen, I don't know, there, maybe, there. Um, I think it's my favourite, mostly for nostalgic purposes, because we used them when I first started school. And that wasn't yesterday. Um, then they just like the interface, I like the way they work. It's quite weird, and I just love the fact that it's blue and white. Come on, it's colourful. <laughs> um, so the next question is, how many computers have you had throughout your life? Now, this is complicated, because... I've borrowed a couple and then returned on it and so on. So I can't give you an exact figure, but I reckon out of what I'm using just now, I've got my my retro Toshiba laptop and my Dell, along with my gaming desktop, which is currently out of action now because of the PSU blowing up. There's obviously the Mac and so on, so the stuff I've borrowed, the stuff I've used, and the stuff that's being sold that I don't need anymore. So what happens is sometimes I'll buy stuff off eBay and then if it's for parts, try and repair it and then try and sell it for profit. If that doesn't work, I'll at least try and sell it to break even. And if it just if the thing doesn't work at all, it just gets thrown out. If I can't fix it. So I hope that kind of answers that question. So my next one is Pardon that, I'm just switching the... I've got a stereo behind the camera there. And it's still on. So, question three is, if you could have any computer in the world, what would it be? I don't know that the answer to that, actually. I know I don't think about it very much. I'd like something that's pretty awesome with, like, Voodoo 2 as an SLI or a Voodoo 5. I know the one that's got millions of chips on it. The insane one, like 6,000 or something it's called. Can't remember. Something like that. I just want something 90s and insane. Running Windows 90 or 2000 or whatever. Just something awesome. <laughs> um, fourth question here is, what age were you when you got your first computer? Now, I first kind of thrown into the world of computing and so on was the Max and the primary, but they weren't mine. So I would definitely say my first like, proper computer was a laptop in 2012. And it was it's a red it was a red one from Dixon's advent brand I believe. And it was it wasn't great actually, it was pretty slow. But see see when you're like pretty young, it doesn't make much of a difference of a good bit of cat um, when you're younger as long as you can go and do whatever club penguin, bin weevils, whatever you played um, however the family PC was an icon from 2005 but I never really got to use that until we took it out of the loft recently because even if I did use it when I was a lot younger I don't have any recollection of using it so that's where it's a wee bit complicated so I've kind of answered the next question as well, which what was your first computer? Now, after, I'll just put in a wee bit more here, um, which kind of links back to question two about how many computers I've had in my life. After I received the advent, I had it up until 2019, but in 2018 the screen broke because it was just running off the off an external monitor. And in, the st in January 2019, I bought an HP Elite book. 8470 I believe and that's actually served me really well but the screen's broken on it now due to some stupidity of my own and so 
I've got my Dell Latitude, which I received from my cousin. That's good. Um, end of 2019 there, start of this year, before things happened. And you all know what kind of things I'm talking about. Um, I built myself a gaming PC. I built a Core i7 based system, second gen obviously, with a GTX 1050. And it's certainly not bad. The card that's running on it now is a 950 because the 1050 just died. So I thought, you know something, I need to build something for gaming because my laptops aren't quite cutting it. My first retro PC, my first kind of being chucked into the retro PC scene was a Fujitsu PC. Very old one at that, 1998-ish. Run with Seller on. It's actually been reviewed on the channel. It should appear on the card if I put it in. Or if I remember to put it in. That's another thing. Um, so that's kind of how all this worked. I've used, owned, borrowed a lot of different PC equipment and I've delved into Macs occasionally as well. I mean, I could say that Currently, I would like to get myself like a PowerBook G4, but they're a little expensive, especially the titanium ones, which is the kind of ones I want. So it can wait just now because I'd like to be able to get the G3 running properly and move on with some other stuff I've got planned. And until then, the PowerBook can wait. So I think. That's me then, I've answered the five questions I received. Um, if you'd like to submit questions in the comments, I will try and reply to them. I should be able to, unless something catastrophically weird happens. However, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe and do whatever else. Um, thank you and good night.